Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman, these next two items are a pair of requests for annexation and rezoning of property. Um, as you recall, when they have such requests, to deal um, with the rezoning. We just want to question first and then the annexation. We can review them, discuss them as one, or the public hearing as one item. When it comes time to make motion and vote, we need separate motions. Um, first with the rezoning and then by the annexation. So this is a request by Edward Jennings, LLC, to annex property into the city of Valdosta. Um, the first map here in the packet shows in a broad sense where the city limits are currently located. Those are shaded in white. The unincorporated area is shaded in gray. Zooming into the zoning patterns, it is currently zoned highway commercial in Lancaster County. They are requesting highway commercial zoning in the city. Uh, for purposes of development under the city's development standards, and more importantly, the city utilities um, and other services that the city would offer, such as fire and police. Um, character area along the east side of the road is community activity center. The west side of the road is transportation communication utilities. That is in association with the Valdosta Regional Airport, which is certainly the dominant land use in this area. Um, it is also within the overlay district of the Valdosta Airport, uh, which has certain rules for development when it comes to building height and things of that nature. This property is not in alignment with the main runway, but it is off of, I guess, the zone to the northeast of a very smaller runway. Um, I have given the review packet to the airport manager, who has replied back with some information that I've handed to the applicant in terms of FAA regulations and certain procedures that you would have to go through. Keeping in mind that those kinds of items are incumbent upon this property, regardless if it's in the city limits or in Miles County. Um, it's just the rules of development when you're in proximity to airports. Aerial image um, shows mostly vacant land. There's an existing residence on the property that is currently vacant. The applicant is proposing to demolish that and then redevelop the entire site um, <coughs> The four commercial buildings. Let me just skip forward to that. Um, site plan is in your packet. These are speculative buildings in nature uh, with some intensive commercial uses. Um, you describe some warehousing and things in their application. Warehousing by itself would not be allowed in a commercial zone, but as accessory to a commercial UCH would allow some of that. Um, but here's the conceptual site plan. A lot of landscaping would be needed. They would also be required to put a non-metal facade on the fronts of the buildings. These are some of the basics of the city development standards outside of industrial zoning. And back to some of the imagery. Subject property, as you see it from Madison Highway, this is the existing house. And the large yard and open field behind it, that's all part of the subject property. Is bounded by streets on all four sides. An interesting thing to note is other than Madison Highway, all of these are local streets that would remain in Miles County. They were all unpaved, which means commercial development would not be allowed to access those unless the developer were to pave the streets and comply with county standards for upgrading those roads. Um, another view of the subject property from the back corner looking across toward Madison Highway. Frontage along Madison is here. You see the airport beyond. I'm uh, looking northward up Madison Highway for the industrial parks. And then this is views of some of the south roads. This is the, the dirt roads. This is on the north side of the property, the east side. Um, and then this is a rural residence that's off of that particular road segment. And then this is the road that is on the south boundary line. Toward the east. So again, site plan building elevations are there in your packet. Um, with this, staff is finding both the annexation and the rezoning request consists with the conference plan, which stands for exercise of zoning power for the rezoning. Um, a note in your packet this was given to Lowndes County per state law for their 30 day review. That clock has run its course. The county has not raised any concerns about the annexation. So with that, we have the green light to proceed. And staff is recommending approval. I'm glad to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Any questions for Mr. Martin, Commissioners? <clears throat> Excuse me. It wouldn't require a diesel lane there in front. 
it might. That is something that will be up to the engineers, but also go to DOT. Um, probably dictated by the amount of traffic volume. This is going to be dictated by the actual pieces. But again, this is a concept that has not been through formal plan review process at all. Um, with access onto Madison Highway, this would be under the city's review. Um, and Georgia DOT, of course, for a driveway permit. If we get into access onto their dirt roads, then we get into a whole bunch of other things. And you notice the applicant on this site plan, he is not proposing any direct access to the other streets. Meaning we would not enter into a bathing matter if that didn't yeah. work. Um, I mean, it's an option <coughs> the applicant could pursue if they wanted to. But they would have to bear the burden of that um, and go through the county permitting and review process for access onto a county road. And as you can see from the imagery we showed of those roads, it would take a lot of upgrade. What about it, Any other questions, commissioners, for staff? In that case, we will enter the public hearing portion of this matter. Is there anyone here this evening that would like to speak in favor of this case? Is there anyone here this evening that would like to speak in favor of this case? <laughs> well, just to answer, Kevin Hollis, 1525. Excuse me, sir, your name again, please. Kevin Hollis. Yes, no, sir. Yeah, to answer Mr. Miller's one concern, we did meet with the DOT out there. There is turning lane uh, detail. He said would not be required, and we've already pretty much got pre-approval from them for that DOT access there. Uh, and no, we, we really weren't going to do anything with those outer roads, you know, leave them there as a buffer. If the county ever decides to come in and improve those roads, which was on the top of the list a while back, kind of disappeared, there's one reason we've settled that property as long as we have before we pursue development. Now I've been told it's been pushed out again to ever get approved, so we've just abandoned that, ever having a through road back there. But uh, I've got any other questions I can answer for you guys? Any other questions for Mr. Hollis? No. Uh, Your address, please, sir. Sorry? Your address, please. It's 1525 BCT Jim Road. That's Quitman, Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that? Yes. Yeah. Thank, right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hollis. Yes, sir. No one else would like to speak in favor of this case? Then is there anyone here that would like to speak against this case? Seeing or hearing no one, that will close the public hearing portion of this matter. Commissioners, any further discussion? We're just going to vote one time on the rezoning and then the rezoning separately and then the annotation. We won't have to go through the whole thing again. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to have a motion on rezoning, then I'm going to say cry annexation, and we'll raise our hands again. <laughs> All right. Uh, do I have a motion on the rezoning? Mr. Chairman, let me get my glasses on. Please do. BA 2023-14, number seven on our agenda. The uh, rezoning. Based on what I understand, commercial highway to commercial highway at Newman County and City, I make a motion that we recommend uh, approval. If we have a motion by Commissioner Willis to recommend approval. And I'll a second. 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 He beat you to it. Second by Commissioner Willis. All those in favor of the motion to recommend approval on the rezoning? I believe that's unanimous. Right, same thing.